I saw Billy the Kid for the first time during that summer. We were in the main Chisholm camp on the Pecos called Bosque Grande, and the cook, Bob Hill, told me about the kid and his doings. One evening, some men rode up to the river and turned their horses loose. One of them was a slim boyish fellow, and Hill said in great excitement, Do you see that slim kid over there? That's the kid in his outfit. I was surprised to see only a boy and walked over with some of our men after supper to visit with him. He was supposed to be about 18, but looked older when you saw him closely. He was sunburned and not much to look at. He didn't look like Desperado to me. If I had seen him somewhere else, I would not have looked at him twice. There were scores just like him all up and down the Pecos. Everything he had on would not have sold for $5. An old black slouch hat, worn out pants and boots, spurs, shirt and vest, a black cotton handkerchief tied loosely around his neck, the ever ready Colt double action pistol around him in an easy reach, an old style 44 caliber rimfire brass jawed Winchester. I should say he was about five feet, seven inches tall, and weighed perhaps 135 pounds. He had no chin, no shoulders. He needed a haircut. He had a pair of gray blue eyes that never stopped looking around. Several weeks later, while we were still rounding up cattle, it was rumored that the Seven Rivers outfit was planning to take the Chisholm headquarters on South Spring River, where Chisholm had been living since about 1870. There was some good bottom land there, and Chisholm had planted an orchard and had a good garden during the summer. All Chisholm hands were urged to get to the Spring River Ranch as fast as possible. I ran to the wagon, took out my Sharps 45 from where it had been rolled in a blanket, and joined the rest of the Chisholm Cowboys as they headed out on the run for Spring River. The kid and his party were there when we got there, and the Seven Rivers outfit had cleared out, leaving just a trail of dust. I was disappointed. There was to be no gun battle. The big fight took place at Lincoln Plaza a few days later. Frank Collinson, 1878.